What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. We are gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right, first things first, we got the media shelf. So we'll see if we can find anything interesting in here. Oh wow, home movies. I haven't seen this show in so long. Season one, it might have some value. Six dollars is what they're asking. So we'll look this up. I'll scan it into Amazon and see if it's going for any more over there. So I'm just using the Amazon seller app. I dropped my phone and destroyed it, but we'll still be able to see what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is hit the little camera icon, scan that barcode up there, and let's see. Nope, not going for that much. Brand new, it's $75, used 15. So uh, after fees, you're pretty much breaking even. So we'll leave that behind. But we'll keep looking, see if we can find anything that stands out to me. So we have shifted aisles. I didn't find anything on that other aisle, but I came over here. There is still some more media here. Lots of movies and some video games. So taking a look through here, Fallout 3, Metal Von Oh wow, a GameCube game. You don't see GameCube games too often out and about. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this game has no value though. Um, lots of sports titles. Here we go, here's something good. We have Need for Speed Carbon for $4. It is complete in there, that's nice. Disc is a little scratched, but I do have a disc cleaner, so I'm not too worried. Pop a price right up here on the screen for you guys. I believe this is going for about 20 plus, so not a bad score at all. There's some stickers on it that I'll be able to peel right off, so I'm not worried about that either. And there we go, first find of the day down. Any Blu-rays looking good? Uh, Norm of the North. No, nothing really looking too great here. We have something sealed here. 50 classic TV moments. You can see it retailed for $9.99 and they're asking six. Uh, we'll scan it in, you never know. It might be going for more than 10 on Amazon. So I did scan it in. It is going for more than 10 on Amazon. It's going for about $18.98, so about $19. But Amazon takes $9.40 in fees. Let's see if you guys can read through the cracks there. And uh, so I'm left with about $3 in profit, but I'm not going to spend $6 to only make three. It's not the fastest seller either, so we'll leave it behind. So I spun around from this side over to here, and there's a lot more to go through. I thought maybe I had found something decent, and so did Goodwill. <laughs> you can see how many DVDs are in this Three Stooges set. They're asking $25. Well, I looked it up on Amazon, and take a look at this. Uh, it sells pretty well for $10. You'd actually lose 72 cents if you purchased this uh, and tried to sell it on Amazon. So uh, they're only pricing at $15 more than Amazon. It, that's why it's probably still here. And it'll probably sit here for a while. Uh, so, you know, Goodwill doesn't always look this stuff up. I get comments, people saying, hey, Goodwill looks everything up. That's not true. Uh, what else do we have in here? My Cousin Vinny, nah, probably not. I'm playing Dynamite, probably not. Uh, this might be some, uh, snowboarding movie, probably not. BBC stuff sometimes has some value. So this is called Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens. We'll look this up, see if this is worth anything. So they're asking three, and you could see it sells really well on Amazon for 15 bucks. So you'd make $7. Now merchants are coming in at eight, so that 15's a little inflated. You could probably still sell it for the 15, but I think I'm gonna leave it behind. All right, so I found one extra DVD that was worth it. It cost $6 though, but I'll double my money, so I figured why not? And now I'm over at the toys and board games section, and it seems like they have a good many board games. We'll see if there's anything good in here. Not seeing too much sealed. Really anything at all sealed. I might be looking over something good, but I don't think so. The Survivor game I actually used to sell in the past for a decent amount of money. This box is all ripped up, but I think the price came down a bit on it. Oh, looks to be complete in here. Oh, maybe sealed on the inside. It is. Oh, well that's good. Okay, we'll look this up. Box is damaged, but it's only $3. See, uh, you know, I'll pop the price up right now. You guys can see if it's worth it or not, and I'll have to double check all the pieces in here. So I decided to pass on the Survivor game. There just wasn't enough profit to really make it worth it. But looking up here, I found a brand new kite. And you know, I don't think I've ever sold a kite before. Uh, it's only $2. It is brand new. And I figured 
let's look it up. I'll pop the price up here on the screen, guys. Crazy. I think $60 or so. So that's pretty nuts. Uh, rank isn't amazing, but it's not too bad. And then I saw another kite. This one only had one review selling for about 30 something. I'll pop that price up as well. Uh, but it's only two bucks. I think I'm just going to take the $2 risk on it and hope that it sells. I might become a kite dealer now. So why not? That's pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to get this, but I do want to give you guys a tip. These, anything having to do with, you know, life, monopoly, operation, games like that, when they have different additions like SpongeBob SquarePants, Star Wars, Family Guy, right? Those things can be worth great money when they have that kind of subcategory. This is only $5 and it's half off today, so it's only $2.50. Now, I'm not gonna get it because it's missing a bunch of pieces. It's missing the SpongeBob figure. But you can see there are still some things in here. At $2.50, it might even be worth it just to sell the parts. I don't really wanna do that, so I'm gonna leave it behind, but I always try to find these cool subcategories of games it seems like most of the time i find star wars things from the 90s it's not worth anything at all and you know this is the same case but it is pretty cool we have star wars desktop stationary kit from 1996 right there and it's just a bunch of stationary paper you can see it was a dollar 49 originally and they're asking a dollar it's just not selling very well but they have a good decent amount of it and look at all of these folders for school school folders uh, they were selling at CVS for a buck 29 back in the 90s and I believe they're asking a dollar a piece here yes they are I mean these are cool I, maybe it'd be worth it to build a lot of all of them you got Jar Jar Darth Maul Queen uh, Amidala you know I've never really seen Star Wars R2D2 they're pushing carts around in here and it's quite loud, but I, I got them all in the cart. You know, if you build a bundle, it might be worth it. I'm going to look into the prices a little more, but these are all just so cool and uh, they're only a dollar each and I do like them, but I can't be buying off of what I like because sometimes what I like is just not worth any money. So I looked on eBay for these. There's a few listed at around the $10 plus shipping range and none have sold. And they're trying to sell them one at a time. I think if I just throw them all up as a bundle for like $19.99, I think they'll sell. It's gonna cost me one, two, three, four, five, six bucks. So maybe I'll throw them up for like $25 and just wait it out. They're very light, they'll ship first class. So I think that's a score. Somebody must have donated all of their Star Wars stuff. So we have a couple puzzles right here. Still brand new sealed for $3 each. And up here we have a bunch of calendars from the year 2000. Uh, another one from 2000 and one from 2003. And uh, they're all not really worth anything. So I'm leaving them behind. But I thought that was interesting. I also noticed another SpongeBob game of life. So maybe I could actually find the pieces that are missing and make one complete game out of it. That might be worth it. And then we do have a Monopoly, but it's the Disney edition. So just like I said, try to find these subset categories. Pop the price up here on the screen. You guys can see these things sell for good money. Uh, it's just a sometimes a little bit extra work to count the pieces, but if you have the time, why not do it? So I came over to the glass case and I noticed this over here in the corner, UFC Ultimate Fight Collection, 2011 edition. Pop the price up right here for you guys, selling for about $140. I checked eBay, it's going for about the same amount there. I couldn't find a price and then I looked over here and it's priced at 40 bucks. So that's a hundred dollars. Well, after fees, it's a little less than a hundred dollars, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna try to grab that right now so no one else grabs it. And uh, I'll see if there's anything else cool and more Star Wars stuff. Uh, Star Wars, the complete saga on Blu-ray for 45. That seems expensive. Uh, more Star Wars stuff. It's everywhere. More Star Wars stuff up here. So we'll see if we can find anything else in here. All right, so I just noticed 50% off is the color of the week. So if I find anything red, we may be in luck. So we're gonna take another look down here, see if anything pops out to me. Uh, it's not really looking like it. What do we have down here? Somebody threw a marmot jacket down for $9.99. Seems like a pretty good price. Uh-oh, it's a pretty nice jacket. What's this? Another nice jacket? Uh, Eddie Bauer, eh. I don't really like selling clothing, so I try not to buy it. Otherwise, I get stuck with it and I never list it. 
So after going through both Monopoly or life sets, I was able to create one complete set right here. Uh, this one was missing a banker's tray, one of these mountains, and I think that was it. And then this one is still missing the SpongeBob, and it's just in generally worse condition. I didn't count all these tiles here because it didn't matter since I had them. Uh, dice. Why is there dice in there? Are there supposed to? Be? I don't think there's supposed to be dice at all. No, there's not. So. Who knows, this one's going back on the shelf. This one I'm getting, so at least one of them is getting bought. So I did find two more things. We have a High School Musical CD that was $2. Uh, it sells for like 12 on Amazon, so that's pretty cool. And then Forbidden Desert Game of Survival for $5. It is brand new sealed. It sells for about 29 on Amazon, so not bad. Some pretty decent stuff today. I'm gonna take one more lap and see if I missed anything in here. You never know, sometimes I miss things. All right, this is cool. Uh, I don't think it has any value, but I'm not sure it's only $1. It's from McDonald's, 1978 Garfield Cup from McDonald's. This is just, oh, I love finding cool things like this. I like it, it's from the 70s. You don't see things like this often. I'm gonna try to look it up. I'll pop some prices up on the screen for you guys. If it's not worth anything, I might grab it for myself, but I don't really need this, so I'm not sure, but I like it. Now it's been a long time since I've seen one of these. They sell for 60 bucks all day. They want 15, a little high. These automatic jar opener lids off. They do really, really, really well. Just have no idea if it's complete in here. All right, so we popped it open and it looks good. It looks clean. Everything seems to be in here. We have the instructions on the bottom. I think for 15 bucks, it's still a pickup. So I'm gonna snag this, easy to ship up because it's already in a box. So I turn around and no way, there's another one without a box. I'll plug this one in at $15 again though, but I'll plug it in, see if it works and I'll probably snag it if it does.